So I hope that you have seen the questions. Now we are going to see the solutions of uh, the questions. Uh, this is an MCQ video on digital electronics subject. In this video, we will be discussing the questions from number systems of digital electronics. So if you don't know anything about number systems, there is a quick revision video of number systems that has been given in the digital electronics playlist. And this video will be uh, put in the description box and also it will be posted along with the comments. Okay. So if you are interested in studying uh, the number systems, quick revision video is there. All number system uh, topic is covered in that. Okay. So let us see the solutions one by one. The first question is, you will be seeing the questions on board. Convert 312, that is 312 to the base 8 into decimal. So you have to convert this number to decimal form. Okay. So how to convert a number in octal? So the base of 8 means it is an octal. So the number given is 3, 1, 2 to the base of 8. It is in octal format. You have to convert that to decimal that is to the base of 10. Now in order to convert this number to decimal, what you have to do is first we will write the number 3, 1, 2. It is to the base of 8, right? So we will write the... Uh, yeah, first we will write the position values. It is 0, 1 and 2. Now write these values as powers of 8. Now multiply these two numbers and add. So you will get 3 into 8 square plus 1 into 8 raised to 1 plus 2 into 8 raised to 0. Okay, so this is how you do it. And on solving you will get 192 plus 8 plus 2 that will be equal to 202 to the base of 10. So the correct answer coming here is option B. B is the correct answer coming here. Okay. So what you have to do is you have to write down the number which is an octal. Then write the position values. It will be starting from 0, 1, 2. Then take it as powers of 8. Now multiply these numbers to the corresponding number on top then add so this is how you do conversion from octal to decimal form okay correct answer coming here is option b next question the second question the second question is what is the binary subtraction of the two numbers given. So the numbers given are like this. 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. And the next number is 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. Okay. So subtract these two numbers. So in order to subtract these two numbers, the general way uh, that we are doing here is, so this number minus this number, right? So just take the second number. And take its two's complement and add with the first number. That is the uh, that is the general way of performing of binary subtraction. That is the easiest way. Okay, or else you can directly perform binary subtraction, but you have to know the rules of binary subtraction. So the rules are like this: one minus zero is equal to one. Zero minus one is equal to one with borrow is equal to one, and zero minus zero is zero. And 1 minus 1 is again 0. So these are the rules of binary subtraction. Okay. So either you can uh, perform the binary subtraction directly by using these rules. That is 1 minus 0 is 1. 0 minus 1 is 1 with borrow 1. 0 minus 0 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. Or you can take the 2's complement of the second number. So this number minus this number. So take the 2's complement of this number and add with the first number. So I am going to uh, go for the 2's complement approach. So just take this number and so I am going to write down this second number. Okay. So this is the first number. This is the second number. So the second number I am going to write down here 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. Okay. Next. For this number take the 2's complement. So first take the 1's complement then add 1 to it. So if you take the 1's complement of this number, you will be getting 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. Right. Now, plus 1. 
so by performing this you will be getting 1 plus 1 is 0 carry 1 so it is 1 then the other numbers as it is 0 1 0 1 so for this number this is the this is the two's complement it is 1 0 1 0 1 0 okay so next we are going to do is we are going to add this number so we'll call this number as 3 okay so next step we are going to add 1 and 3 okay so i'm going to write down the next number here that is 1 0 1 0 1 0 we are going to this is number 3 okay next we are going to add these two numbers and you will be getting the result okay so it will be 1 1 0 then 0 1 0 and there is a carry 1 okay so this is the number that you are get, going to get so the answer will be 0 1 0 0 1 1 you, you can neglect the carry because you only require the result okay so this is the result which is coming okay now what we have done here is we have taken the second number we have uh, found the two's complement of the second number and then we have added with the first number so the operation that we are actually performing here is subtraction but in order to perform subtraction we have done addition now how the addition is done is if you have to add two numbers it is one sorry we have if you have to subtract two numbers one minus two then take the two's complement of the second number and add with the first number that is how you can perform binary subtraction okay so anyway the correct answer coming here is option a is the correct answer okay so for the second question correct answer is option a next next question which is question number three two's complement of a particular number what is the answer okay so i'll write down the number it is one zero one one zero one one so this is the number that is one zero one one zero one one you have to find the two's complement of this number so this is the original number original number not to perform the two's complement first you have to take we have just uh, found the two's complement of another number now so the steps we already know first take the one's complement one's complement means changing ones to zeros and zeros to one so it will be zero one zero zero one zero zero this is the ones complement okay now add a one to this then you will be getting two's complement so it will be one zero one zero zero one zero so this will be the two's complement of this particular this particular or this original number okay so here the correct answer coming is zero one zero zero one zero one correct answer is option d now if you want me to do a separate video on uh, performing of binary addition subtraction two's complement uh, if you want a quick revision video of that topics that is how to perform binary addition how to perform binary subtraction or other important things you have to remember and also how to take the two's complement of a number all these things if you want a separate video please to mention in the comment section we'll be doing it okay because this area is very important and uh, in digital electronics playlist you can actually find videos on mostly quick revision videos i have done uh, that is if you want a quick, re quick revision video of adders there is a video flip-flops likewise i have taken a particular area and made capsule videos okay so if you are interested in watching those videos please do see the digital electronics playlist okay so here the third question correct answer is option d okay and this is how you do it next fourth question The fourth question is excess 3 code 4 5 8 4 is given by dash. You have to write the excess 3 code of 5 8 4. So excess 3 means you are going to add 3 to every number. Okay. So just add 3 to every number. You will be getting 8 then 11 7. Okay. 
So the numbers that you are going to get is 8, 11 and 7. Now, so on performing excess 3 operation, excess 3 operation, what you have to do is you have to add 3 to every number. So the first number is 5. Add a 3, you will get 8. 8 plus 3 is 11. 4 plus 3 is 7. Likewise, perform addition of 3 to every number. You will get 8, 11 and 7. Next, represent these numbers in BCD form. That is 4-bit binary form. So you will be, you'll be getting 1, 0, 0, 0 for 8. Then 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 for 11. Then 0, 1, 1, 1 for 7. Okay, so you are getting 0, 1, 1, 1. Then 1, 0, 1, 1 and 1, 0, 0, 0. Okay, this is for 8, for 11 and 7. So this is how you write it. Correct answer is A. Okay, so the excess 3 chord of 584 is option A is the correct answer coming. Okay, so uh, in the uh, quick revision video of number systems, the excess 3 chord is also explained. Okay, so if you are interested in watching, please do watch the quick revision video of number systems. It will be uh, seen along with the comments and also in the description. Okay, next question, which is the fifth question. Fifth question is, which number system has a base of 16? Very simple question. Base of 16 is for hexadecimal. I'll write it here. Base 16 is hex or hexadecimal. Base 8 is oct or octal number system. Base of 2 is called binary. And base of 10 is called decimal. So these things you should be knowing. Okay. Base of 2 binary, base of 10 is decimal, base of 8 is octal, base of 16 is hexadecimal. Okay. Correct answer coming is option A. Simple question but you should be knowing this concepts. Okay. Next question and the last question. That is question number 6th. Sixth. sixth question. Okay. Yeah. Next question is what is the binary multiplication of 1, 0, 1, 0, 0 and 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay, I will write down the numbers. The numbers are 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. This is the first number. 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. The next number is 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay, so this is, this is the number. Now, in order to perform the binary multiplication, you should know that if you Multiply 1 into 0, you are going to get 0. Then 0 into 1 is again 0. Then 0 into 0 is equal to 0 and 1 into 1 is equal to 1. So, this rules you should be knowing. Now, just perform the multiplication bit by bit to every number and add. That is the operation that you have to do here. Okay. Now, let us see. Okay. So, I am going to perform the multiplication here 0 0 1 0 1 then next number multiply and write the results from this bit so it is again 0 0 1 0 1 then next is 0 so if you multiply 0 with any number you will get 0 so it is 0 0 0 0 and 0 then next number it is 1. So you will get the same number. Then it is 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. And the last number multiply you will get 0, 0, 0, 0 and 0. Okay. So I hope you can see the board. Yeah. This is how you are going to get the multiplication. Now add the results. So it is 0, 0. Then 1, 1, again 1, 0 carry 1, so 1, 1, 0. Okay, so this is going to be the result. So the result coming is 0, 1, 1, then a 0, then 3, 1, 0, 0. Okay, so this is the correct answer. So I hope this uh, multiplication is clear to you. So what you have to do is just like we multiply normal numbers, here also you take every bit and multiply with every other bit in the next number. So, 1 with all these numbers and write it here. Take the next number, 
multiply with all the bits and write the results from the next bit position and just write in this form and add the results so the answer coming here is i'll write it the answer here okay zero then two ones then a zero then three ones then two zeros so this is the answer coming correct answer is option c okay c is the correct answer for the sixth question okay so in this video we have actually seen six questions from number systems again i'm repeating if you want a separate video on uh, explaining how to perform binary addition binary subtraction of two numbers multiplication division of numbers how to perform binary uh, operations like addition multiplication subtraction everything if you want a detailed video please do mention in the comment section we'll be doing it as a separate video okay so again another important thing if you want the video on number systems it will be uh, uh, that is you can see the video in the description okay the link will be posted in the description uh, so that's it uh, i'm really hoping that you found the questions useful if yes please do give it a thumbs up also share it with your friends and please do subscribe to our channel and also tell your friends to subscribe okay so that's it thanks for watching and keep on watching